Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you all my colored pages and work in progress in my Johanna Password books. So yeah, let's begin. So these are all my Johanna Password books, only the ones I colored in. I have most of them, but yeah, so many books, so little time. So I'll start with, I think, was her first one. It's Secret Garden in English. This is like the Dutch version of the book. And I've only colored in one image, the title page. It was like in my early days when I didn't do shadows. I only colored with one yellow, one green, one blue, one purple, <laughs> or maybe two, but that was it. Not the most proud of this one, but I guess everybody starts somewhere and this was one of my first ones. So yeah. Then next we have Enchanted Forest. This one is also the Dutch version of it. So I did this one and I think that I got inspired by Peter Hewitt. The rabbits are uh, inspired by her version. I did this with my polychromos pencils. It was, I think, one of the only pencil sets I had back in the day. Yeah, and, and, and maybe like a white gel pen. Can't remember which one I had because I, I know that I only bought the Posca white pen when I was already like coloring for a few years. So I don't know which one this is, but yeah, you can use any white gel pen that works for you. And then... This is a work in progress. I don't like the background. I wanted to do like a gradient effect with different colors, but I don't think it went very well. I do like the beginning, the start of the leaves, but yeah, the background, I don't know. That's why I abandoned this whip because I didn't like it. The background was actually a test with my neo colors. Yeah. Still don't really sure how to use them, but I will figure it out in the future. And the leaves are done with polychromos and prismacolors. And then again, white gel pen for dots, highlights and stuff like that. Next, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. This is a work in progress. Haven't done a lot yet here. Mm, I think these are all Prismacolor pencils. Yeah, I think so. I'll have to make some time to start working on this one. And then my first ever double page. I really enjoyed doing this one. Although by the end of doing all the leaves, I was really like, I can't see any more greens for a while. It was a lot. Like here it was okay, but then I had to do the left page and it was like, oof. yeah, I remember. I did these uh, with a combination of polychromos and Prismacolor pencils. It's all only pencils. It was a, a very long project, as almost all my projects are actually. I mean, I'm very slow. I am always <laughs> a bit scared to test or try out other mediums, I, I buy them and then I do it on a test page at the end of the book or a new page. But um, in a book, it's like, ah, I don't want to ruin this page. So I'll just stick to my pencils, which I can erase if I have to. <laughs> and then uh, I used an ivory Posca pen and white Posca pen. Those are the only two in this book. We have Worlds of Wonder. Very big book, huh? Again, surprise, a work in progress. I have these a lot. And it's this one is done actually with um, Windsor and Newton watercolors as a base. For example, here I used beige. And then here I used a magenta purple kind of color. Um, and then the blues actually are just pencils. And then, yeah, on top of it are polychromos or prismacolor pencils. I actually like the page. Another work in progress. It's this cute little house. Um, these are just done with pencils. 
polychromos and prismacolors again like that were like <laughs> my two brands that i like use almost all the time and then i actually started doing with a sakura black fine liner drawing like these extra things instead of having just the clouds like this and then i started coloring a little piece here that's it for this one and then finally a finished page this was actually based off i'm gonna show you like i started this from a tutorial on youtube from marina art i will link the youtube uh, down below so i tested this but this is like done on watercolor paper so blends really nice the colors the watercolors blend really nice so this was actually very easy to recreate and then i wanted to do the same effects on this page it was like more difficult to do it here the paper didn't respond well to water i had to use very carefully a little bit of water the colors are also like not as vibrant i had to do a lot of layers page buckled i had to go over it with an iron so yeah it was actually really really hard work to only do like the background with the moon and then i used acrylic black paint to go over like the floating island part and then these are just done with pencils yeah that's it for worlds of wonder her last book Yay! Rooms of Wonder. I have this one finished. It's a part of the book. I really enjoyed this one. I did this with my Derwent Inktons and Derwent Pro Colors. Yeah, finally I bought some new pencils that I could test out. I really like how this turned out. It's this cute little plants pots and then this is a work in progress i really really like how the background is turning out i still have to do this side of the page and then i started on the trees but i don't like how it's how it is turning out that's when i again left and abandoned this page because i really need to like think about it yeah i i, I don't want to mess it up that's why i i sometimes leave my page and come back to it later because when i get annoyed when something is not turning out how I want it to be, then I just want it to be finished. And then I just like color it very quickly and then it doesn't help because the page will be partially ruined. And I like the other parts. So yeah. I think this is it for all my Johanna Passer books. All right, everyone. Those were all the colorings I wanted to show you. I hope you can get some inspirations from this. Happy coloring and see you in my next video where I'll be showing you all the work I've done in my Rita Berman books. Bye!